Hey guys, it's Kay from KS Anonymous, and I am back today with another episode on our week of Halloween celebration or whatnot. And today we have a very fitting subreddit, r slash Halloween. Just got done carving the scariest pumpkin of them all. <laughs> they, they carved out a check engine light. I mean, I feel like that is legitimately for at least adults or those who own uh, vehicles quite an actually scary pumpkin for all of my other sad halloween lovers out there when you love halloween with your entire being but you're too low energy to celebrate it much this month cries but attempts to do so spookily <laughs> what? okay i actually did look around at some of the spooky memes or whatever with all the skeletons and i'm sorry i just don't get it <laughs> i don't get it i know a lot of people enjoy them so i had to throw one in here but like i just i don't get it i was out walking my dog and discovered a neighbor had nailed a door to his tree and now my neighborhood is magical af okay that is really cool <laughs> that was a really cool idea of them to do that a uh, pretty big tree there to be able to do that in the first place, but that is so neat. It does seem kind of cool, little magical, mystical. Pretty neat. I like it. Made this for work today. How much time did you spend on this? Oh my goodness. Like, cool art job there. <laughs> I would hate to be, like, at your work wanting to eat it, though, because, like, I would feel bad for, like, messing up your hard work, like... You made the clown dude, whatever his name is. <laughs> I'm a terrible person for not knowing all these things. But either way, like, that is that is some good talent there. Good job. I would not have the kind of patience. I'm the kind of person to just be like, oh, yeah, I dropped by Walmart and grabbed one of the salad tray thingy, majigs, veggie trays. This, this is some commitment, guys. I walk through the haunted woods and they're holding up a lantern. I just really like this aesthetic. Uh, some people said it kind of set the mood for their Halloween or their October kind of celebrations in time. And I think that's really cool. It's like a foggy trail looking thing with the leaves and the lantern. It's a really pretty picture. I had to share it. Speaking of pretty, night sky painted pumpkin from last year. They want to know what they should paint this year. That is cool. It's like a galaxy looking uh, kind of design or whatever. Obviously, the night nice sky or whatever. That is cool. Um, and if you think that uh, you have ideas for whatever they should paint for this year, you should definitely um, pop on to the link for their post is in my description box. You should let them know what you think. My school said we could wear one Halloween themed accessory for the last day of term. <laughs> I bet you they were thinking like a bracelet, necklace, earrings, maybe a t-shirt, something with a little bit of Halloween on it. Not a straight up pumpkin on your head. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. This feels like it kind of lands slightly in like malicious compliance and I'm here for it. My scary movie watching spot for the next two weeks. Holy crap, these people went like all out. Like their entire, I don't know if that's like their living room. It almost looks like it's sectioned off or something. Oh my goodness. Look at all those decorations and like low light setting kind of stuff. That's cool. Very nice. Lots of effort put into that. Although I don't know if I'd want to watch a scary movie and then like <laughs> be freaked out and like turn away and see like a shadow in a dimly lit room with all the creepy things. <laughs> but if that's your kind of vibe, like that's pretty cool. Meet Dr. Funny Bones 3. We love him, but our neighbors don't seem to appreciate his curiosity for the outside world. <laughs> I hope that they like put a backlight up or something at night. So like when you look over, you just see like the shadow of the skeleton like looking through the blinds. <laughs> I like that. That's funny. My wife's spider makeup for Halloween. Dang. That looks cool. It's like a smoky eye with like, like, I don't know what they're using. What is she using for spider legs? I wonder if it blinks with her every time that she blinks or if it's attached to her eye like her eyelid instead. I don't know. I was thinking, okay, this is horrible. Um, <laughs> but I was thinking um, a cheaper way 
of having spider makeup for Halloween is to just get a hold of some of that unique mascara and you could have like the spooky spider leg uh, eyelashes. Yeah, the anti-MLM in me is, is coming out. <laughs> and then we have this. Now this image is clearly kind of creepy, right? But um, this is a watermelon carving. Someone carved this out of a watermelon. Holy crap. Like the amount of skill. First of all, to carve a freaking watermelon in the first place. But like to be able to use like all the pieces the way that you want them to be used with that much detail. Like that is some serious skill. Anyway, hey, uh, that is going to wrap up today's video. I know some of these are a bit short, but I mean, they are kind of daily videos. <laughs> so I hope that it helped you get into the Halloween mood or whatever. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, go ahead and drop a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And real quick, I'd like to thank my patrons. On the screen, you should see my face palmers and my crazy case. Thank you all so much for supporting me in that way. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye!